Hello, it's Sarah. And I wanted to share what I've been up to for the last couple days. I know um, I've been playing with clay lately and it seems like I'm going to stay there for a little bit. Um, I've been watching you guys and seeing what's up and uh, as soon as I want to try something, I'll do it. Um, but the clay, like I'm, these tiles I just made are so cool. So I went back to my book. And I know you guys are having a hard time getting this. I, I found out that it's out of print and it's an ebook. And honestly, I would say get it in the ebook form. It's just really good information. Um, um, I personally, I like a book in, you know, it's disappointing I go to get instruction books anymore. Um, and they really don't have them the way they used to before the internet. But the internet's great. Get the book on ebooks, it's really great. So. What I did for the past couple days, it's a, it's a little bit of a process. In here, Lori has one of the styles of um, tiles that she makes is she paints them. And you know I paint, so obviously that appeals to me. Um, she uses Sculpey 3, so I buy the big block and it's gone. So I can't even show you. I don't have one at the moment. It's snowing here again. Oh my God. But... Uh, so it's nice because Sculpey 3 is really easy to um, condition. It's softer. Um, and then she just cuts out. She used a non-serrated uh, kitchen knife, which I didn't have one. So I'm using this like clam shucker thing. I think that's what it is. But it does have a blade that's not as sharp as your um, cutting blade that you use for clay. Um, and you make kind of like geometric patterns in the clay. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I did have quite a few, but I've been using them, and I have a project share. Um, I'll get to that. Maybe I think I'll do a separate video. This is what's left of the ones that I made previously, um, and I love these. I really um, stickled them up, and uh, sorry, my battery died, um, so change that. But anyway, these are the original ones that I made, and I, I want to say, I mean, I took the class in 2012, so it's a while ago that I made these, and I don't remember what colors I used or any of that stuff, so I made a new batch. I'll still use these, and I've been putting them in my um, mosaics um, now. I definitely am liking adding them, adding all the different kinds. So this is what um, I made over the last couple days, and it's not a ton, but it is a ton of work to make. Um, so it's kind of interesting as I'm thinking about doing this for craft shows or even selling them on Etsy. You know, it's it's an impossible thing to price your work um, in such a way that people actually buy them because they don't want to spend a fortune, and I get that. Um, it was that way when I did um, painting, too, because, I mean, people don't really get the it all the work that goes into it you know I mean there is quite a lot of work um, these are the tiles I mean this and the I'm gonna push these over a little because I have some favorites that I'll show in more detail I put put these aside to show in more detail so all these oops one fell down about I would say this is about half a brick of the big bricks of the um, Sculpey 3 um, and I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a nice amount of tiles, definitely. And I cut them to all different sizes. And you do that um, first. Bake them, and then they turn out like this. I'll show you. Like They turn out like this. So just white. I stamped on some of them. but And you put a pattern into them. So these all have, I stamped on, a, this is a lot of stamped ones. But you put a pattern in with that little um, non-serrated knife. I was going with the Harlequin a lot. I like the Harlequin, this like diamond pattern. So I'm going to show you those in a minute. But this is, this is what I wanted to show you. So what I was using was I pulled some colors. And I definitely like these Martha Stewart pearl paints. Um, I stayed away from the red this time. But I definitely used the purple. And I used the white. And I did kind of like a highlighting with the white, which is really pretty. So I'll show you what I did. I have purple. I don't have very many colors at all. Purple. Oh, here they are. Let me just um, show you a 
I'll come up like this and just show you. So that many paints, that's it. So pick some pretty colors that you like. Gold is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, what was I using the gold for? Because uh, that's just what I was base coating, you know, gold is my base coat color, so I don't even think that's included. A yellow, a green, a pink, I, I love aquamarine. This is Caribbean blue, black, and white. I didn't, I then I, I didn't use any like regular blue. Really, I kind of stayed away from the primaries. I went with pastelli this time. Maybe the next batch, I'll do the other ones. But I love the way these turned out. So like this is ones with yellow. Oops, let me go back down. Um, <clears throat> and like the Sculpey got bent. Or you know what that is? Oh, I know. I used the gold because every single one of these tiles, I painted the edge with gold. I just dip my finger and went like this on every single one so it's quite a process all right so first you make the raw clay you have your tile oh this one even has a bubble in it see but it'll get covered up it's fine um, you have your tile your pattern all baked and ready to go so you get out your paints and this was one of my faves I love this um, Caribbean blue and the black and then of course I did the pink and black this was a new shape for me. I just did these two diagonal stripes down the middle. Um, and you can tell this is the purple pearl. This is the pink and the Caribbean blue. But you can also see pearl on there because I would pull, I floated some of the pearl on top. So it gives it the sheen. They're different than the ones I did previously. The other ones are very flat. Um, so all of these have that sheen and I mean for the most part the pink was really bright on a lot of them You can see it on this one really well. See how that That white pearl shimmer on the pink there. That's because I floated the pearl down that side So it kind of toned it down as well, but it also gave it a pink shimmer um, So that's the first step. The first step is just get your colors down Figure out what colors, like I love, wait, this is the one, these two, like, oh, this one has yellow in it too. This was the color that I just, I couldn't stop going with the pink, purple, and teal. I could, I just loved it, um, purple and teal. Um, but anyway, so here's pink, purple, and teal again with the Harlequin. Um, but yeah, you can see the pearl on all of these. It's so shimmery. So once you get your paint on, I discovered, and I wanted to show you one of these tiles as an example, and it was right here a second ago, this one. When you varnish, which you do varnish because it's paint and you want it to have a, um, you know, a, a kind of a cover over it. I had done some swirls in gold metallic, and I was using this metallic, um, it's a uniball gel. Um, and I have it in gold. I've had it forever, but I wanted to get some use out of it. And of course, my metallic, um, here it is, my jelly roll. I went back in with this after a while because I just love that color. This, the um, Uniball is like a bit of a richer gold color. It's a darker gold. Um, but anyway, when you go over that, maybe if I'd given it a whole day to dry, I don't know. But I varnished it pretty fairly quickly after I finished. It pulls the ink so um, either you need to spray them if you're going to put your um, gel gel ink down on my nails I'm so sorry I've been playing again I have stuff all over me sorry um, but then after that I decided I would after painting so just paint no gold because all the gold lines in between these creases that's done with the gel roll pens too the jelly roll pens even on these, the stamped ones, I put a gold line down the middle, but then when you varnish over it, you're going to pull it. So don't do that until after you varnish. After you varnish, and I just use um, a glaze. It's, um, I think it happens to be a Gessonia glaze. There's so many on the market. Any, any glaze is fine. Any varnish, um, I'm, well, I'm saying glaze, but I, it's a varnish and it's a satin finish, um, is fine. And then you can come back, add your stickles, add your gel roll pe pens, any little doodah, because I also put polka dots, look, this one, and it pulled. I mean, you can see a little smudge of gold there, but I did the stripes and the dots on the, um, on the blue pieces. 
Um, I love how these turned out. I stamped a bunch more of these. I only did one of each yesterday because I wanted to see. And these, thank you, Irene. I'm pretty sure um, these were gifted to me. And if I'm wrong, please tell me. I'm very bad with this, but Irene sent me these delicate wings by Close to My Heart. I love these little stamps for... They are perfect for a tile. And look at that dragonfly. I'm going to use my Jacquard paints when I paint my other ones because they're metallic and there's like a greenish purple. But I love. So I just made a sky in the background. And this one I stickled. So I might not stickle them. Um, I might just use like metallic paints. But they turned out super cool. Um, so what else? These are a Tim Holtz stamp. And I'm loving these. And you kind of cut it apart. I have it here. Let's see if I can just grab it. Of course not. It's buried. It's buried in there, but it's a Tim Holtz stamp, and it, it's kind of like, like this. It's kind of lined up like this, sort of, kind of. And then I just cut it apart into as shapes as best I could. And what I'm loving is when you stamp on the raw clay, you get an impression. This shows it much better. Let me see. These, definitely. You can actually tell that the hope, so you put ink on the, on the, um, stamp this time a lot of times I just leave an impression with no ink but this is actually with ink and so you can kind of see that it's in there the ink went down a little and then I just painted it after but I love the way that turns out like you can feel it you can feel the depression and then I painted it so I'm gonna go away and come back so um what else did I want to talk to you? See, this one really looks cool. Like, it's just, you can see how I can. I don't know if you can. The flower actually goes down. So, these turned out really, really pretty. I'm happy with these. I stickled some things. I put, I definitely didn't stickle as much as my first batch. These, I have s stickles on every single one. And I like that, but I didn't put it on every single one. Like, I don't even think I had stickles. I said that last time. These were the um, the metal or the um, the glitter uh, scribbles. I have the metallic scribbles out because I don't have any of those in stickles. But I use my stickles for glitter. Um, and I didn't use a lot of green this time. Um, see, like here's the blue. I had blue, orange. I didn't use. But these will definitely get used. And these are really thick because Lori. Um, See, look how thick that is. Um, she rolls her clay by hand, like with a, um, a roller. It's actually a bakery-type wooden roller. Um, and I use my pasta machine. It sits right, I don't have it right now. But I did do these on, a, on I think it might have been the biggest, maybe not the biggest. I want to say like a 7 or 8. So they're not as thin. Like these, actually, these turned out, I rolled these. I was probably running out of clay and started rolling thinner. You can tell some of them are much thicker. Not much, much, but they're thicker. So that was that batch. I mean, that's a half a block. So, I mean, if you get one little square, like a regular size um, square clay, I think I have one of them I could grab. Um, ow! I have a blade in there. I just cut myself. Um, one of these. So this is just a regular block, two ounces of clay. Um, I, I forget how big a, a block, maybe 10 is a the big block of clay. But this would get you a lot of tiles. Like if you rolled it out pretty thin, um, it's fun. It's just fun to play for those of you who paint. Um, you know, but like I said, it's not, it's very time consuming. Um, and see like this one, that didn't stamp out as dark. And when you paint over it, like, you really need to do a wash, but that has a stamp in there, and you can't really see it. Um, but the I love the pearl paint. It's so pretty. So I'm playing with that. Um, let me pick them. I have these little... Uh, my Joann's totally is getting redone. I like how these turned out, too. This is part of the Tim Holtz stamp again. And I just stickled the whole diamond in the middle. I think I stuck my thumb in it, and then I put a different color stickles in the middle. Um, see, look, I'm bleeding. I'm getting blood on myself. Uh, but I love that to just have a stickled piece. Oh, and I definitely did some more black and white checks. I love adding a little bit of pop of black. Definitely the black and white. I did pink and black, purple and black. Oh, see, this is what I want to show you. 
the white looks a little dingy. It looks a little, because the gold pulled. When I varnished, the gold pulled off into the black. That's what I, into the white I mean. So it made the white not look as bright, but look, even adding a little pop of black to that tile, I love it. I love it. So I really like how these turned out. Um, gonna try and um, play with a few different colors today, I think. I love, and I mean, I keep saying teal. I don't know if this is a, it's like an aqua, aqua color. Love that. You know, I love pink. But I do think I could f pull a few more, maybe a blue, a regular blue, maybe not a, um, I think a country blue would be um, probably good. I want to say, I kind of like the pastels, so um, that's what I think I'm going to go with. So now these I wanted to show you. Oops, sorry guys. Um, these I just baked today. And look at this bee stamp. This is so cute. So for those of you who are stampers, and because I don't have, Laurie Micah is very, she makes shrines and stuff. And I love her work. I love her work. But I just don't know where, I mean, she puts a, in her book, she has um, where you get the stamps and stuff. One of the places is out of business. Um, and that's what you'll find. So I don't have a lot of what she has as far as stamps go. So I'm working with what I have. And I like, I love critters. I am a critter fan. I love flowers. Um, I like cutesy, not too cutesy, but look at these dragonflies. Like this one actually got embedded really nice. Like you can see the white coming up. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to paint these with the metal, like the bees. Where's a good bee? I want to show you. These are the bees. And this is a, a recollection set that used to hang like on the, um, the side of a, a I don't know what they call them like in the it's in the middle of the store it's not like in the stamp section you would find these little stamp sets and I have several of them I have one with words on it but anyway so I saw these little bees and I was like wow let's see how they stamp and look how detailed that comes out I am so excited I want to paint these up I'll give the body a little yellow a little black and yellow on the um and I'll put the blue behind it again, like I did with the butterfly and the um, dragonfly. Um, but I love these little bees. And then there was a queen bee stamp, which I don't love. This one I squished too much. So I don't know. It's a little, you know, I'm being a perfectionist, but this, this is still, oh, here's a good one. This queen bee, nice and clear. So I'll just put a wash of color over it and get it all, um, shiny and put gold around the edges. I'm liking, Lori actually um, painted her edges. So say she painted, and look at this, this has the embedded, it's embedded a little bit. I, I wish you could feel it. You can feel it. Um, these pieces, I love these. These are so cool. So this is like as close to the gothic stuff as I have is some Tim Holtz stamps. I did some more music notes and they're embedded too. You can feel them. Um, and I had this this stamp, which I wanted to try, and I don't love how it looks. Um, I like this embossed. When you emboss with this stamp, I did I used this on my art dolls. Um, but this is, you can feel it. It definitely went into the clay, and you can feel it. Um, so mainly, this was my little, I wanted to stamp into the clay uh, with ink and see how they turned out. But I'm going to do, because I only did one of each of these yesterday. Oh, and I did these flowers. These flowers came with the queen bee set too. And it's funny because I would rather the leaves were, I could paint them green, but the, everything turned out black. But I'll, I'll still use it. It's still that pop of black. Um, what else? And then I just have some more of the tiles like I did yesterday. The ones I love, like I said, I'm loving the Harlequin which I don't know if you're seeing this. The stripe was really cool. I really like that because then you can put a row of stickles down there too of dots. Um, so I don't know. I hope, listen, I know I have a lot of subscribers out there who may not use clay and hopefully um, you forgive me, but I am into the clay at the moment. I want to, um, I'm probably, and I haven't done, it's a lot of work to list everything on Etsy, but I'm gonna, this week I'm really hoping, um, I'm going to come back with a project share. I have two more mosaics to share. Um, and I'm going to list all of them on my in my Etsy store. Um, hopefully this week 
So I'll get up there. Um, I bought some more boxes, so I think I'm going to do the little boxes on Etsy too. Um, and maybe just some of the uh, stuff I had last year that I um, haven't renewed yet because um, I went to my craft show and uh, anywho. Um, also working on some quilt tiles, which is another class that Lori took and I'm not finding a lot of information about that. Um, but I'm just looking at pictures and doing my best. I'm going to figure it out and um, do that. They're kind of layered. They're stacked. They're really cool. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm going to come back and share my mosaics. But those of you who haven't tried this, it's super fun. It's super easy. If you don't have a pasta machine, that's fine because Sculpey 3, you can roll it out. It's easy. So give it a shot. And thanks for watching.